welcome to Moist Studio. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more such videos. Hello everyone, welcome back to Moist Studio. We're back with another video. So today we'll learn how to implement Barcode Reader in your Flutter app. So with that, you'll be able to basically open your application, which opens a camera app. And with that, when you tap on the screen where the barcode is visible, we'll be able to decode that barcode and get the information. So for this thing, we need a plugin, which is the Flutter Mobile Vision plugin. So we'll just import this plugin. So we just need to copy this and paste it here. So now we have the plugin. Now in because in this app we'll be using a camera module, we need to have that permission for an Android app also. So we need to go to a Android native code. And in the manifest file, we need to add the permissions. So let's add the permissions. Android dot permissions dot camera. So this is done. And also need to use the feature. And with that, we also need to add one more line, which is, if you go here, as you can see, so we'll be implementing the barcode thing, and we just need to copy this line, the activity, and add it to our manifest file. And this is hardware, so that is done. Let us just add the activity here, and this is done. So we're done with the code side. Now let's go to a Flutter page and add the code here. So let's, in this class only, let's have two buttons. So we have a floating action button. So on press, it goes to increment counter. And in this one, let's change the code here. So here, the first thing that we need to do is we need to import and initialize the Flutter Mobile Vision plugin. So we'll start by first creating an instance of Flutter Mobile Vision and initializing it. So let's do it in our init state method. We'll, we'll just write Flutter Mobile Vision dot start dot then. So let's create a variable which will tell if the Flutter Mobile Vision has been initialized or not. So let's just call it is initialized and set the default value to false. Let's make it private. And here we'll just say to true, we'll set the value of this thing to true. Now this is done. So once it's done, we'll be able to start the camera app and get the barcode. So let's rename the function of increment counter to get barcode or scan for barcode and let's go to the function and now here let's have a try cache so that if any error is there we'll be able to catch that so this is okay now here we need to first create a list of barcodes. Barcode. And let's call it barcodes. And let's just initialize it. This is done. Now here we'll call the function which will basically open your camera app and get all the barcodes whichever are visible. So it's an async function. So we'll need to write async here. And here we'll just write Flutter Mobile Vision dot scan. And here we need to write some properties. So we'll just open this one. So, okay. Future list. So yeah, we'll just write await here. So this is okay. 
So the flash we don't want auto autofocus is true that is good formats all formats is okay multiple we don't want we tap will make it true so that only when we tap it will start looking for the barcode show text also we can set that value to true okay mm, size previous preview fps is set to 15 which is decent and the camera by default will take the back camera which is okay so let's see if this is done so once it's done we'll just check if barcodes.length is greater than zero so for every barcode we'll loop through this barcodes list and we'll just print the values oh barcode value is let's say barcode dot display value uh, let's display all other properties also like it for matte string and here we'll get get value for matte string and that's it you're good to go let's run the app and see if it works so let's run it here As you can see the app is up and running and when it starts it asks for the permission to record audio and pictures which will give. Now the flutter mobile vision has been initialized. So now if you press the plus button it will call the scan barcode function which in turn uh, will open the mobile camera app and we will be able to scan all different kind of barcodes. So here one thing to notice that there is an option where you can specify the format. So if you go here. You can see there are different kind of formats which are supported here. So you can also scan a QR code. You can also scan a barcode which is of 128 bit size. So all different formats are there which you can try and you can play with. So for now I have selected all formats which is the default value. So if you go and let's say let's open a page where we'll just create a QR code generator. Let's call this function. And let us generate a QR code. Let's write. So this is Moe Studio, and I'll just open this thing. I'll just click on the plus button, and as you can see, the camera opened. If I go here, it should be able to scan this thing, and it is. So I just need to tap on that one. So I tapped. So now let's go here and as you can see it was able to detect that it is Moe Studio and it's a QR code. So now let's try with the barcode also and check how it works. Or oh, not the barcode reader but barcode generator flutter. Okay wait. It's a barcode generator. Let's go here and generate a barcode. We'll do the same thing. Let's write Moe Studio. Let's generate the barcode and let us zoom in it a bit. Let me open the camera app again and let me try to scan this thing now. And as you can see, it's able to scan, it's showing on the screen itself. So I've clicked it. Let's go here. And as you can see, Moe Studio, it's a code 128 format, which is for the barcode reading. And that's how it works. So I hope that you like the video. If you do like the video, please subscribe to our channel that because that helps us to bring a lot of more informational content for you. And do give us a like, comment and share. Thank you.